Get conflicts. Don't worry, it happens to us all. Get conflicts are not that scary and they're not that bad. You just need to know how to resolve it. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how easy and simple it is to resolve Git conflicts and some tips and tricks on how to avoid them as well and reduce them. I have a repo here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a branch. So I'm gonna go git checkout minus B conflict example. And if you don't know about how to make branches, how to do commits, I have a previous video in this series on how to do all that and all the different useful flags you can use. So if I make a branch, so I've made a branch, I've called it conflict example. So let me make a change in this branch in this repo. So I think that explains it better. So if I do a git status, again, I have a previous video that explains more about git status. If I make this commit, I've committed it. And let me go back to the master branch. And you can see now the change is gone because the, that change is not available in the master branch. Let me make another change on the same line. A conflict happens when there are two commits that are changing the exact same line. If you're changing different lines in the same file, it usually works it out really well and it's fine. I want to put the word tab. So it's on this repo, click pull requests tab. Okay, so let me do a commit now in master. I won't use the same message because otherwise that's confusing. Pull request tab text added so i've committed that now whichever way i merge if i bring conflict example into this branch or master into the conflict example we're going to get a conflict i want actually both changes so i'm going to bring the conflict example into this branch so if i go git merge conflict example branch and you can do rebase when you have multiple commits it replays the commit so you don't get a whole load of conflicts at once so we have a conflict so if I do a git status, you can see it's UU to say that there's a conflict in this file. And if we look at it just in the terminal, just to show you what it looks like without VS's code extra visibility, you will see that it says head and then splits it with these equals and then it finishes with the branch. So this section is head, which is the tip of the branch that we're in. And then this section down here is the changes coming in from the other branch that we were just merging in. So if I exit that file, we can do it in VS Code as well. And if it's not clear what the changes are, you can click compare changes and it will show you the actual changes. So you can see the on changed to in and the tab changed here. So you can actually see the changes more easily. So what I will do is I will just accept one of them and make the extra change manually. Remember, if these were on two different lines, there wouldn't be a conflict. So I'm going to accept the current one, which will be tab. And then I'm going to change on to in. I've got both. And then what you have to do on the command line next is you have to then add the file to say that you've resolved the conflict. And so now if I do a git status, the file has been added, the, the UU is gone to say there's a conflict, and I can commit it. But remember when doing a commit, you did an extra flag, you did the minus I to say that you're happy with resolving the conflict. Resolved conflict. And that's how simple it is to resolve a conflict. So don't get too scared if you get a conflict. Just look at the changes. That's why it's really important to merge and update often. So if you're working in a branch, make sure your mainline branch with your team or the open source project is kept up to date and you keep regularly merging into your branch. Therefore, if there are any conflicts, you're doing them little and often rather than big bang at the end. So you don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe below. It's free and it really supports my channel. And you get notified when I put out future videos on Git or open source, um, hackathons. And don't forget to let me know in the comments of videos that you would like to see. And we do have a Discord channel, so feel free to join us in the Discord channel. And let's continue the discussion between videos and between live streams.